All right, what else happened this week in the world of sports? Uh, Dwight Howard went to the Lakers, an absolute shocker, an absolute shocker that yet another guy who couldn't win a championship somewhere else is now going to go pile on with the Lakers. It's ridiculous. It's They have literally become the New York Yankees of the NBA. Every fucking year they do this. And I want Kobe Bryant to start getting some shit for this. If you're going to give fucking LeBron James shit for piling, for leaving Cleveland and pile on, piling on in Miami, then God damn it, Kobe has had people fucking coming to him for his entire goddamn career. 15 fucking years in a row. <clears throat> And they got the nerve to sit there and compare this guy to Jordan. Look at the fucking teams this guy has been on. And go back and look at those Chicago Bulls teams. And I want, to, I want you to start telling me. Dennis Rodman is the only fucking, like, free agent that I can really remember that they signed. All right? And he was, it was one fucking guy. Kobe gets two, three guys every year. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm telling you, as a crabby old man, these are not your father's championships. These are not championship teams. These there's no difference between these championship teams and that rich kid whose first car is like a fucking goddamn Maserati because his dad is rich. All right. You know, what's so fucked up about these teams. And I include the 2008 Celtics in this. That was a that was a bought and paid for championship. I know they put the work in. I know all of that, but it, it's not the fucking same. This is the funny thing about these pile on teams, is I remember as a kid when you'd be out outside at recess and they'd we'd start picking teams. If they got too lopsided, kids would be whoa 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 wait a minute that's not fair. They would people would flip out. And they'd break up the teams, and you'd balance it out. Where I was from, it was called smuck teams. I don't even know where that came from. Like, these are smuck teams. These teams are smuck, which meant it was bullshit. You had Shaq and Kobe and all these fucking guys on one team. It was going to be a goddamn bloodbath, all right? And even as, like, second and third graders, we understood how fucking pointless it was to then go out and play the game. If you had all the most talented people on one fucking team, right? So we broke it up and we would we would have it evened out and we'd have a great game during fucking recess. Now, if we can understand that, why can't full grown adults understand that in these leagues and professional leagues? Why can't they understand that? All right. But if that's the way it is, I accept it. I accept these pile on championships, but I want them to be called that. All right, the same way they had the dead ball and then the live ball error. These fucking Laker championships, Celtics championships, Miami championships, these are not the same as the ones in the 80s right through the fucking Chicago Bulls. I would even say the Spurs. You know, the uh, the David Robinson, uh, uh, Tim Duncan ones. Like, I don't want to hear it. Don't fucking be talking about, don't bring up Larry and Magic and all these other guys with the guys of today, it's different, okay? Because just imagine back in the day if Bird and Magic just piled on and got on the same fucking team. Like, why is that enjoyable? I got to be honest with you. That first dream team, I didn't even watch it. I didn't want to watch fucking Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Akeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley go play Rwanda. You know what I mean? What am I going to do next? What? And then what? Watch me go play a game of wiffle ball with some fucking second graders? Like, I don't understand what, where, what is the thrill in that. And if you're in one of those cities and you're getting all these guys and you're fucking psyched and you don't give a shit, um, that's because you don't understand. You don't, you don't even understand sports. And you're the same kind of person that I, be, I bet cannot be swayed in an argument, even if somebody makes – a good fucking point because all you want to do is be right. You just want to win like that Fox News kind of like debating style where it's all good if you agree with me. And if you don't agree with me, I'm just going to yell at you and cut out your mic. And that's going to be the fucking debate. Um, It sucks. Okay, so now I'm down to two sports now, football and hockey, because you can't do that in either one of those sports because they have a hard cap. 
I know people say in baseball they have a hard cap. Yeah, well, they have a loophole that you can drive a $200 million team through called the luxury tax. You can just basically pay it off, and you can go out and buy everybody on the fucking planet. So I don't know. I don't know. I got to find some different sports to take place of, of hoop and fucking baseball because I'm done with both of those sports until they, they, they just fucking, you know, I'm, I don't know. It's, it's fucking stupid. You know what it is about those teams, why I don't respect them? Because it takes more money than brain cells to put those fucking teams together. Back in the day, you needed brain cells. You had to, like, break down people. You had to try to see stuff before other people saw it. Now you just go, hey, we need a center. Who's the best guy available? What's he being offered? Offer him $10 million more. Next problem. I could fucking do that. If I had a bottomless pit of cash. That's fucking – it's depressing. It's depressing. So – I don't know. But I still don't think the Lakers have a coach. I know goddamn well Kobe Bryant doesn't fucking respect him. You know, when you're doing great in the game and the coach goes to high-five you and you completely ignore him, I would say that that's a complete lack of respect. What do you think? Huh? Am I crazy to think that? Am I crazy? Do, 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 do.